What is General Electric Company PLC? Welcome to PDF Electric and Supply Company, your one source for GE, FANUC, and GE PLC. Today's video is to discuss the history of GE FANUC and GE PLCs from 1981 to 2012. We'll start with the Series 9030 PLC system that was introduced in 1988 to run through the 90s but has now existed to 2012 because it's the largest installed PLC system GE has. The 9030 system consists of a power supply, a CPU, and then multiple I.O. cards that can mount in any slot. It started with the 311 CPU and finally ended up with the 374 processor that has Ethernet built in. You program the 9030 PLC through the serial port in the power supply, not in the CPU. You can program through an Ethernet module that's available either in the CPU or externally, but the most common way to program is through an RS-485 port, which comes off the serial port of your personal computer. It connects directly to the port, and you'll be able to program all 9030 PLC systems with either Prophecy, the Windows-based package, VersaPro, a Windows-based package, or Logic Master, which is the original DOS-based package, and it isn't really supported today any longer, but it's still required for some of the older processors. The 9070 system was introduced shortly after the 9030. The GE FANUC 9070 system was the big brother to the 9030. It included a power supply, a CPU card, and multiple I.O. cards that then could be expanded to a second rack. The power supply had a simple switch in the top to turn it on and off. The CPUs maintained programming ports on the front. It used the same serial port as the 9030 system. The 485 serial interface that again was programmed with the Logic Master software, DOS based, or the Windows based uh, software VersaPro and Prophecy, or even called Machine Edition at times. The CPUs typically included an interface to flash the CPU to a later rev, a battery, an on-off and enable switch, as well as a second serial port. They range from the CPU 731, in this case a CPU 782, all the way up to a CPX 935 and CPM processors. It was the big brother, but now, uh, quite frankly, has been obsoleted, and very few parts are available for it. Uh, we at PDF Supply carry about every single board in stock, and we can repair this particular unit. The GE FANUC GE RX-7i replaced the 9070 unit and is a little bit unique in that it uses a, a much higher speed processor memory capacity and has embedded the Ethernet into the CPU modules themselves. Uh, the RX-7i actually had a four or five year life and now the RX-3i basically can almost fulfill all the power requirements instruction set of an RX-7i. The only feature that the RX-7i has that the RX-3i does not have is the Open Architecture VME bus, which is a third-party interface allowing other modules to be plugged into this system to offer greater versatility. The RX3i processor is the up-and-coming PLC, or PAC system as GE calls it now, uh, basically replacing almost all formerly uh, sold systems because of its power and compact nature. The RX3i includes a power supply, a CPU, an Ethernet module, and multiple I.O. What you will note in the back plane is it allows the old 9030 I.O. to be plugged in as well as the new high-speed RX3i I.O. The new CPUs in RX3i include Ethernet connections so that you would be able to not have the, the third module used. The RX3i is the number one selling today of GE uh, PLC systems. It's price competitive and it's got extremely advanced features, very rugged, and uh, utilizes again the 9030 I.O. system. The GE Series 6 was introduced in 1981. It was first introduced as a model 6600 and 6000. 
The only difference in those three models were the memory size and the instruction set. Later, they combined all three units into the Series 6 Plus. The Series 6 Plus had a capacity of 4K to 80K. You would simply change out the Logic memory card, and in some cases, you would change out the Logic control. The Series 6 was one of the fastest processors back in its day. By using 4-bit technology in parallel, they were able to provide 16-bit processing, or one millisecond per 1,000 words of instruction solved. It was a modular system when it became the 6 Plus, and I.O. cards could be actually installed next to the CPU. We maintain a huge inventory of Series 6. Almost every single card is still in stock, and we can repair every part that was ever made of the Series 6. The GE Fanuc Series 1 was introduced in the mid to late 80s. It was the first modular small PLC to hit the market. It was actually manufactured by Koyo and private labeled by General Electric. It included a rack and power supply with a CPU next to the main power supply, and then I.O. and expanded to multiple racks. The rack and power supply were all carried under one part number. The programmer simply plugged to the front and you could enter lines of code button by button. A bit painful, so soon the Logic Master 1 DOS-based software was provided to give an interface to allow PC-based programming. The Series 1 is the, one of the largest installed systems uh, of any PLC and is still in use in many parts of the country today. We keep every part in stock and we are capable of repairing every part. The GE Fanuc Series 3 was the next PLC that was introduced after the Series 1. It's a mid-sized PLC and what's unique about this PLC is the programmer and the CPU are all one unit. The power supply remains behind it and the I.O. cards to the right. It has a serial interface for Logic Master uh, 3 software to be put for programming. It had a short life of about three years in the marketplace uh, before the Series 5 was introduced and you will find these on elevators and grain mills primarily. We are able to repair, repair these CPUs. Uh, typically, you're going to find some capacitors that decay and fail on them, as well as all the I.O. modules. PDF Supply can supply all your GE PLC needs, from the original Series 6 in 1981 to the most current RX3i. We have full repair facilities in-house, as well as test labs to test any questionable product. Please give us a call and let us help you today.